Welcome back. Today on Dialed In DIY, we're using LEDs to add fun functions to our everyday items. In today's project, we're actually taking a plastic calculator and some LEDs, a battery, and a switch so that we can make it into a nightlight. This was actually something requested so that we could have a little low-level light nightlight in the car. As we get our parts and workspace ready, I want to show you a fun little user tip. Anytime you're working with small items, small screws, and things like that that you need to keep around, take a little piece of tape, double it back on itself, and put it on your workspace. That way, as you take out these little screws like this, you can stick them on the tape. That way, if you bump your table, bump your workspace, tip things, or anything like that, you're still going to have those little parts, which if you dump them into carpet, let's be honest, they're going to be hard to find. So my first step in this project is actually just removing all these little annoying screws. Then we're going to take the battery out of the actual calculator itself and set that aside because we want to put it back together. We don't want to use this battery for this purpose because we still want the calculator to function as it does. So as we look inside, I found a perfect spot for a button cell battery that actually is not going to take up the space that's needed for the calculator parts. You'll notice I'm carefully removing all the parts because I want to put them back. This is different than a lot of my salvage projects where I'm taking things apart and I'm not as careful about taking things out because I'm not as concerned if they break. But this time, we want all the functions to still work. So my first step, I had to find a spot where I could put a switch into this thing and not have it in the way of any other function. Once I had my spot in the edge, I just drilled a little hole the size of our switch itself and then I started lining things up to test to see if it was going to fit right. This actually worked perfect and you just have to make sure that your circle or your drill hole is actually a little bit more of an oval so there's plenty of room for that switch to slide back and forth. Next I prepared a couple of small pieces of wire just to add to the battery which I'm going to hold together using Gorilla Tape. Very similar to duct tape, we just needed to stick the things in place. If you're newer to working with LEDs, check out the links to the videos in the description below and you can learn a little bit more about how easy it is to add these to all kinds of projects and to work with LEDs, it's a lot of fun. You can get very creative with them. You'll notice that each step along the way I like to make sure that everything fits back just fine. That way I can make any adjustments as necessary before I move on. But this time, everything worked and the next step was just wrapping the positive leads on the LEDs together before I began to solder them. You can also use electrical tape to hold them together if you prefer. Next step, you guessed it, checking the placement of the LEDs again before I continue to bend things around and continue working on the project. So, it all fits good, we've got it lining up, so I'm going to take the negative leads on the LED and wrap them together and then connect them with solder as well. Now we're going to prepare our wires that we're going to connect to some other things by putting a little bit of solder on them to begin with. This will make it much easier to connect them to other items like the switch, which we're about to do. At this point I'm putting one end of the negative wire on the negative leads from the LED. Then I'm going to secure the switch in place so it makes it easier to work on. I'm gently holding it in this vise to keep everything together just right. And then I'm going to solder the other end of that negative lead right onto the post of this switch. The next thing I did was solder that positive lead from the battery pack right onto the middle of the switch itself. So now when we test it out, everything lights up just fine. Since the lights, the battery, and the switch all are working just fine, it's time to start putting everything back together. And we're going to start by setting the battery in the place that we found inside the case of this little calculator. Next, I'm going to position the switch and then take a little bit more of this Gorilla Tape and just tape the switch in place. There was a nice open pocket of space at the top of this little calculator, and that's where those LEDs are going. Now, I can put all of the original parts back in the calculator and get everything reset. Now all we have to do is pull the little screws back off that tape and add them into the back of this case and test everything out again. With the battery back in place on the calculator, we're going to flip it over and hey, it works. That's always a good sign. Final test, we flip on the lights and check it out in the dark. Perfect. Hey, be sure to come back in the future as I'll have many more LED videos to share. Thank you for watching. Please press like and then subscribe. There will be more dialed in DIY to come.